It's extremely difficult. Uh, mm. Don't forget they've been under a very harsh siege mm. from Israel for the last seven, eight years. Mm. Uh, they're lacking everything. I've been working there through the last three attacks. Yes. Uh, the hospitals are in deficiency of, of supplies, drugs, disposables, equipment, the schools, uh, food, uh, water is almost absent. 90% of the water in Gaza is not drinkable. Mm. They have bombed the electrical power plant. They don't have electricity. So on top of this very drained civilian society, forced on its knees by the siege, mm. comes this bombing and these large numbers of killed and injured. And what is new this time is that they have been systematically bombing residential areas, mm. taking out whole, f whole families, killing families with, uh, you know, 17 uh, members. Uh, half mm. of the killed are killed in families where more than three people were killed in the same attack. Mm. So this is a systematic attack on the Palestinian resistance to the occupation. Mm -hmm. Doctor, you've written and you've likened this uh, to what I quote in 1938, the Nazis called the Jews Untermenschen, I hope I've mm -hmm. said that correctly, uh, subhuman. Uh, tell us what, what you mean by this. I mean that I don't think anybody, any, any sort of educated person, mm -hmm. take an Israeli soldier, mm -hmm. could treat children like they are treating children, bombing schools. They couldn't bomb hospitals and ambulances if they did not have this attitude of the others being less valuable than themselves. So this, uh, this systematic uh, dehumanization, dehumanization yes. of the others, as have been done in so many conflicts and occupations, mm. to allow for the atrocities to take place. Because, uh, and that's why I, s I, I invited President Obama to come to Shifa, because if you really have human yes. feelings, you would never yes. accept the atrocities. Yes. And you've written, Doctor, I've got to read this. Mr. Mm. Obama, do you have a heart? I invite you, spend one night, just one night with us in Shifa. I'm convinced 100% it would change history. Uh, describe for us, Doctor, one night on duty, night mm. duty at the hospital. One little m remark first. I'm not comparing Israel with Nazi, but I'm comparing the racism of apartheid yes. with the yes. two situations. One night in Shifa, depending on the Israeli bombing, there would be caseloads, uh, ambulances, taxis coming in. Mm. On the night of the massacre in Sashaya, we had 400 patients, of whom 47 were dying or dead, 50% being children and women. It's horrific. Mm. It is horrific. You want it unseen. Children with, with, with heads to cut off, with dismembered arms mm. and legs, open wounds to the abdomen, and a heroic effort by the Palestinian healthcare workers. I am not a hero. The heroes are in Gaza. There are 220 surgeons in Shifa Hospital. They work around the clock to save their landsmen and women. Mm. And it is lacking everything. So, I mean, even for a well-organized university hospital in South Africa or in Norway, this amount of injured and war casualties would be an immense uh, challenge and let alone a system which is denied of electricity, water, supplies, security, everything you need to run a civilian society mm. is taken away by the same occupant mm. who are bombing you and killing your people. Uh, doctor, very quickly, what can South Africans do to help? Well, it's simple. Do the same as you did many years ago. Stand up in mm. solidarity. Fight against racism and apartheid. Mm. And I think more than ever the Palestinian people need us. They need us to show not only lip service, but practical, concrete solidarity. Boycott, divestment, sanctions, all the peaceful political means to isolate the state of Israel and their atrocities and the occupation of the people of Gaza and the bombing. It has to stop, the siege must be lifted, and we are all responsible to see that happen. Dr. Mads Gilbert, an emergency surgeon just returning from the Gaza Strip, thank you for your time on the PM News Desk. Well, in news just in now, Israelis and the Palestinians have signed a ceasefire agreement. An official announcement will be made soon in Egypt, where the agreement was indeed mediated. Now, we'll bring you details of that story as it unfolds right here on the PM News Desk.